life is not balanced, right? At least it's not in my life. I don't know about yours, but with all the things going on, life is pretty offset. A lot of people are not ready for that one kettlebell on the one side exercise. There's too many energy leaks in their bodies and they end up twisting, turning, torquing. It's, it's embarrassing. It's, it's very sad to see. So we need to have that step in between from having two equal kettlebells to one big bell on the other side. How does that work? Offset. So now all of a sudden I have that feedback. It's just a little bit of a change in weight. I wouldn't go very heavy. We want to make sure those weights are somewhat equal but offset. So doing something like a squat is going to have that effect now that I can actually resist that unwanted twisting in my body, sealing up those energy leaks, making you stronger so you can really appreciate the experience of holding that one kettlebell on that one side as you squat. And this can be said for all other exercises. I could be doing overhead pressing. Now the single arm overhead press, that's kind of a different monster in itself because I got that turning and that torquing. So if I can hold on to a kettlebell, whether that kettlebell is in a suitcase hold or up in that rack position, I can grab tight on that handle. When it's up in that rack position, I can squeeze in, which causes me to have a... What does it cause me? It causes me to have a stronger side plank on this side, meaning I'm gonna stay strong and stable on this side so that I can press with freedom on the other side. So using that offset weight, we can do that with so many different exercises. So we don't wanna be torquing and twisting. When I have that one weight on the one side, that's a seriously anti-rotation exercise. Rotation being one of the seven primal movement patterns. Now what you might be thinking to yourself is, Corey, I followed all your kettlebells and coffee. I'm a huge fan. And to that, for you two people out there that said that, thank you. Thank you. But you and Megan keep telling us to get ultimate sandbag. So I don't have any kettlebells. I have an ultimate sandbag. How can I use this for that? I'm so glad you asked. So glad you asked. If you have a smaller bag, the red bag, the power bag, or the green bag, the core bag, it has a nice ready to go handle that you just grab on and we can do these kind of different offset exercises. If you have a strength bag, a burly bag, or one of those force bags, you have to create your own grip. So we never want to pull on the flap. You want to roll that flap up, grab on what we call a fat grip. A lot of stuff going on in that forearm as I make that strong grip. Strong grip, strong lat, healthy shoulder, just saying. But we can experience all that offsetness using our ultimate sandbag before we do something where we throw the ultimate sandbag on top of our shoulder and do exercises there because that will be somewhat of the ultimate sandbag equivalent of holding a kettlebell. There is so many more opportunities for me to turn and to twist and those opportunities can be turned into good experiences if we have those energy leaks sealed up, strengthened, side planked like nobody else, ready to go. How does that sound? <laughs> I'm excited. I just want you to know that excites me. But then I'm easily excitable when it comes to talking about kettlebells and sandbags. Woo. So, offset. It's not just a way of life, it's how we train in the gym. You're welcome.